fire smoke that has been moving across the country. And actually, more of this is moving back into Tennessee and Kentucky over the next couple of days. But we have seen some improving air quality conditions, so that is good news. You're also looking at that from Belize Lake, a little hazier earlier this morning. A lot of clouds in place, and now we're beginning to see more sunshine for you. Temperatures did warm into the mid and upper 80s, but as we have seen the movement of air from the south and southeast, more of that smoke is starting to dissipate and really disperse here. You can see where the higher concentrations are going to be stuck up areas over Tennessee and any pollution that it's also carrying through. And that south southeasterly flow keeps us in a better air quality zone. Not perfect, but at least moderate levels rather than the high code orange concern for particulate matter. We stay that way through Monday, even though we talk rain chances. Now, if we have more widespread rain on Monday, we could see some improving air quality conditions, at least for 24 hours or so, washing out that air. You can see Big Elk and Creek just beautiful out there today. Nice sunshine. The levels are OK. We'd like to get a little bit more rain on our reservoirs. We're going to have a chance tomorrow, but you see the drought conditions still abnormally dry. Notice who's improved areas over Greensboro. And as we get you east out through sections of northern Greensboro, southern Rockingham County and then parts of Caswell County improving still abnormally dry, though. So we'll be watching for those rain chances and just keeping you updated on it. Maximum temps today 104 in Vegas, 90 in Atlanta, 85 in the triad. So we're doing OK. We had some clouds to help out this morning, but that ridge of high pressure in control and that's the dominant feature for us over the next two days. We're also watching these fronts here as they're going to be nearby and helping trigger some of these showers and storms. More active weather is down to the south. This is a 40% chance of seeing showers and storms develop into a tropical system here over the next two days. Five days away, we're looking at another round possible of this system becoming what would be known as FRED, we believe. Yeah, so Tropical Wave Invest 90L is what folks are flying in and looking at right now. For now, we expect most of that to be down to our south. But if it does become a depression, it needs winds above 39 miles an hour. Tropical storm status actually above 39 and just below 39 for tropical depression status with a better organization. So Fred's next on the list and then it will be Grace and Henry ending out with Victor and Wanda. Hopefully we do not make it all the way through the end of that list this year. It has been a quieter season, at least now that we've seen almost the end of July. 90 to 96 for steamy pattern conditions as we talk about the higher humidity, the values of increasing thanks to that moisture that we're tapping into right off the beaches. So Atlantic Beach moisture starting to move our way. Mountains too tomorrow. You're going to see that south to southwest wind throughout the day. That's going to lift any moisture along the mountains. So the eastern slopes have the best chance to see storms and your highs there in the low to mid 70s, climbing to about 79 by late day. 60 in the foothills, 84 for those afternoon highs. Clouds and a few showers and storms may keep your temperatures down tomorrow. Rain chances at 50% makes it an impact day for you. Rain chances in the trot are much lower, about 20% right now. We'll keep you posted if anything develops and looks different as we get you closer to later tonight. High temperatures at 88 degrees, feeling like the low 90s. And those storm chances, as we mentioned, a 50% chance on your Monday. So we do increase our rain chances and it does become an impact day then. 82 in Hayes, 86 in North Wilkesboro, 70 still uh, on those slopes and it feels pretty good up in the mountains. With 82 though in Pleasant Garden, temperatures are beginning to take a little bit of a drop down. With 89, typically this time of the year, we are certainly going to see some better conditions developing through tomorrow for folks who want to see the rain and storms, likely on those eastern slopes as we mentioned along the Blue Ridge Parkway. But the seven day forecast brings in your impact day across the Piedmont Triad on Monday. And that's our only impact day for now on that seven day forecast. Otherwise, we're hot, we're steamy, and we're very July like. Highs typically about 89 degrees this time of the year to near 70 for those morning lows.